Ben. Oh, it's live? Yeah, that's awesome. That's how you make a live video. So, I'm trying to clip my mic on now. All right, live from Garmin Marine Booth, Miami International Boat Show. I'm gonna give you a whole rundown of what's going on. We got a new live scope transducer and we've got a new display. So, before we dive into it, let's check out this right here. So, as you guys know, a lot of 86 series displays, you can actually go out to a monitor or a display. So right here is one of the new 9000 displays. So fully capable of streaming out to a TV in the salon or whatever. Garmin's really got it decked out. Uh, caught my wife's eye, the new Mark uh, watch. You better get a close up of that. Then I told her it was 10 grand, but uh, maybe I'll get that one day. Something to uh, aspire for. All right, let's head over here to see this new transducer. So it's packed over here around the new display, so I'll have to wait a little bit. But right here we got the new Kraken trolling motor. Got a 63 inch all the way up to a 90 inch. So you got your saltwater models that are gonna be, of course, white in color. Down here, they've got the uh, Garmin XR transducer mounted on it. So pretty neat design. You'll have to get a close up of that bad boy because that's what everybody wants to see. That's actually an XR transducer. On the Garmin Force, the freshwater model over here, they've got a 34 transducer. Let's take a look. I'm missing my watch, man. I really, really need my uh, watch back. I misplaced that. Look at this bad boy. Let me change it to the mode that everybody wants to see. You gotta have it in forward mode. Garmin Live Scope LVS34 mounted on the shaft. Of course, the Garmin Force trolling motor. Look at that up there. That is sweet. Garmin's new radars. Got them all blacked out. So let's, uh, it's hopping over here. I'm gonna squeeze in. I'm gonna kind of move some people gracefully. All right, right here we go. So you can see this is the brand new 1643 XSV, 16 inch unit. That showcases off from the 1243. This is my favorite unit Garmin's made. Not only price point, but feature. 12 inch unit, perfectly fits in. Now you've got a 16 inch unit. This is gonna retail out at $49.99, so right at $5,000, which is a lot better than if you had to go to the 16 inch unit from the 86 series display. Um, it's right at 6,100. So this is gonna be an incredible new product offering from Garmin, super excited. And uh, without further ado, check out this beast up here. This is the PS70 heat seeking missile laser guided live scope, biggest, baddest boy on the market. This has got three beams in it. So you've got a dedicated down beam, you've got a dedicated left beam and a dedicated right beam, maximum depth. Of course, you got it here on a fairing block you can actually recess this in on a pocket. You can pocket mount it as well. So for that deep fisherman who's looking to cover every angle of live sonar, that's what it's gonna be. Let's head over here. I wanna show this little display off right down here. This caught my eye earlier. This is just kind of a, new, a neat, clean breakdown of the Kraken trolling motor. You can see the massive uh, trolling motor shaft up there. Just kind of a cool display of how all the componentry breaks down. And then this right here, this takes you back in time. Not many people remember the old glory days of panoptics and everybody confused of what panoptics actually was. You got a PS21 transducer on here. You got a PS30. These are the what originated. These use normal sonar frequencies um, and it was kind of harder to tell. So it's forward looking sonar. Now you have live scope, high frequency, easy to view. We're gonna go the long way around. Clean display. This is like a glass bridge. So if you had a dual flush mounted displays, super clean, easy. We'll talk about the new uh, blue net here in a minute. We'll round off to uh, my wife's favorite area the audio so we did a video earlier that was really cool where you can increase your speed and the volume would actually go up Let's see if it'll work so audio goes up 
boat slows down, dims back down. How cool is that? So that's capable. A lot of their new black box units. I believe that's the MSWB675. Really cool feature, GPS. Let's sneak through the back way. They've got it decked out, man. Looking mighty good. All audio, of course, Fusion Audio is easy to integrate in with your display. We've got all the products, tower speakers, whole nine yards. Cool little watch display setup. I need this boom boom in the showroom, man. We're gonna have to get a sub. I have to add that on the list. Clean setup, here's some autopilot components. We've installed a few of these, a smart pump. Really neat and clean from Garmin where they put the brains on the pump so you don't have to mount two separate components. All right, honey, let's see. I wanna show that. We'll show this off right here real quick. So this is the new Blue Net. So for all your legacy units, you've got the RJ45 plugs, so your larger plugs. Now with the new 9000 series displays, they're running the Blue Net. So this is the same plug that's on your live scope box. However, now this is gonna pull faster speed. So processing more and more data through the 9000 series, they're going to that smaller plug. So if you have legacy units going to the new 9000 module, you'll have to have this Garmin Legacy Marine Network that will then stream that data into Blue Net that will then go out to all your devices. So we'll stop off. We'll end it over here at the trolling motor display. Garmin's got it going on. I would show you all the GPS map units there, but it's a little crowded. So really cool that they came out with a 16 inch unit that's gonna be, I mean, it's probably gonna be one of our most popular units. The 1243 has been our most popular unit um, in history. It's high end unit, great. Everything you need for the high end freshwater setup. So let me walk up here on stage. Watch out, man. I don't want to chop any. I'm not responsible for anything. But that's what my lawyer told me. New crack controlling motor. Easy to use. Wireless foot pedal. And hey, when you're ready to go, what do you do? You just step on it. Let's go. Boom, baby. That thing's a beast. Easy to use. Make sure any Garmin products, check it out. Bassboat Electronics. And of course, centerconsoleelectronics.com.